happening yet again. What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Sword and Shield walkthrough, the Isle of Armor series, right here on Sword Version. Now, in our last episode, yes, we finally achieved something, and that was that, you know, we, we did all our little, uh, I don't know, chores? Is it chores? Something! We did something for the Master, Master Mustard, and we actually got this cool Pokemon named Kabu. Now, one of the biggest things to Kabu is that we needed to train it up. We needed to be friendly towards us and all that stuff. Now, the way to get it super friendly is a little bit different than just leveling it up. Now, in the last episode, I believe we got Kabu at level 10. Look at that. Level 80, ready to go. I used the most of my, uh, my rare, or, yeah, my rare candies to actually get this Pokemon up to level 80 because, yeah, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna spend all my time just doing, uh, a, a whole bunch of training with, with, with other Pokemon and all that stuff, trying to capture it. I did a lot of stuff, guys, off screen. A lot, a lot of stuff. Trust me. Now, let's go right inside and talk to Master Mustard right here because he's going to give us a small clue of where to go right here. Now... We did defeat our other girlfriend, you know, the one that tried to sabotage us and all that stuff. And here is Honey, and she's like, hmm, if only someone, humble, no, but who would gather that many, hmm, she's probably talking about the Watts because I guess she's trying to upgrade this whole place right here. I could give her some Watts later on, but let's go to Master Mustard. Now, here he is just doing his own thing, probably eating, watching Nintendo or playing a game, and he's like, what's this? What's this? Let's see how you and Kabu are getting along. Beamore! Good, good. You two are just the best of friends now, aren't you? Kabu's really become more confident. How wonderful! I dare say, I think you're both ready. Follow me, you two! Oh, okay, alrighty, so we're ready, I guess. I don't know. But we leveled up this Pokemon right here. We leveled them up to a pretty nice level and all that crud. And, uh, let's see. Now, he's gonna be taking us right here into these lands. Dum dee 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 la la da. Master Roshi being Master Roshi and all that stuff. Whew! I guess this was a good spot as any. Now then, Draven and Kung Fu! If you want to become stronger, there are special training grounds just for Kung Fu. Prepare yourselves for the Towers of Two Fists. Oh, wow, there's one. The blue tower is the Tower of Waters. The red tower is the Tower of Darkness. Choose wisely, since you'll only be able to climb one of those two towers. Kung Fu study, uh, fighting style will change depending on the tower you choose, and the type it gets will change as well. Think carefully. Each tower, each tower is five stories tall, and each floor has a tough opponent waiting for you. Make sure you level up your Kung Fu properly before you try to climb up. You can reach both the towers by heading through the Force of Focus. You might even be able to find a shortcut if you can ride your bicycle across the river. I'm really looking forward to when you two make it to the top of those two towers. It's going to be exciting. Hmm. It's going to be very, very exciting. Oh, okay. Alrighty. So, look at that. Kofu's ready to go. And there is just one little thing going on right here, okay? He did say there are two towers. Tower of Water. And Tower of Darkness. Now, as I'm playing this game, I'm going to be doing both towers in different versions. Right here in Sword version, we're going to go. We're going to be going to the Tower of Water, mainly because, well, I did play an extra Pokemon Shield game, you know, just a legitimately of the land and all that stuff. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah we, we, I think we're prepared for this one right here. We are. We're very, very prepared. Now, there is quite a few things that you can actually do to actually get your Pokemon to like you as well. Uh, not that. <laughs> Holy bejeebus. Holy. Okay, so yeah, we're not going to be capturing you right here. Uh, let's see. Let's go ahead and run. Yes, we don't We don't want any of that smoke. Okay, so there are quite a few things that you can actually do, or just one little thing, and that is that you can actually go to a special site. There's quite a few sites around here, and you will be able to actually get your Pokemon to be friendlier to you right there and then. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going in here and let's see. Brawler's Cave. You should be able to find one of the assistants, but I think I've already did that off screen. Oh crap. I think I did. Okay, so let's just go straight to the tower. Or you know what? 
First is first. Before we do anything, guys, I did a little something. And it needs for me to go all the way back to the front tower. And because we got that flying technique, then yeah, might as well do it right now. So, as you guys probably already know, there are 151 diglets around this whole friggin' area. Everywhere. Off screen, I went in and got all of them. Literally 151, every single one of them, guys. Now, down on the description will be a video of, uh, of, of a guy to actually get the 151 Pokemon or 151 uh, uh, Diglets around here. You can thank the guy right there, you know, help me get through this whole thing. And is that a Pika Blue? That is a Pika Blue. Okay. So, I'm actually going to show you guys what happens after you get all 151 Diglets. And then we're going to go into the tower of whatever, just to, you know, be whatever and all that crud. So, here's the man, the myth, the legend. Here he is. Oh, hello. Thanks to you, 150 more Diglett came back to me. One of them has evolved into a Doug Trio. The number of Diglett that came back hit five, so I'd like to give you this Pokemon. I met this Pokemon in Alola just like my Diglett. So here we get an Alolan Meowth. Now, since I've already gotten all 151 Diglets, this will actually... Well, we're going to be speeding it through to every single Pokemon he's uh, going to be giving to us. So let's go ahead and take a look at Alolan Diglett or Alolan Meowth. And I'm just going to put a no right here, but let's see. Let's see the summary to this Pokemon right here. As you can see, we got Alolan Meowth. It is a Dark-type Pokemon. And, well, everything is good right here. Rattled. Its ability, Dark Ghost and Bug type moves, scare the Pokemon and boost its speed stats. It's a pretty good, uh, you know, it's a pretty good ability right there. And, well, you know, it has normal type attacks for, you know, this, this, and that. So, anywho, let's go ahead and go to the next Pokemon right here. Let's go ahead and send this Pokemon back to the box. If you find 10 Diglett, please let me reward you. Okay, so we've already gotten the 10 Diglett. <laughs> and... Here we go. This is what happens when you get 10, and you're going to get yourself a Slowpoke. Now, we already got a Slowpoke, but this is Cantonian Slowpoke right here. And uh, no, we're not going to be nicknaming this Pokemon, but let's go ahead and take a look at its summary right here. As you can see, a, or Cantonian Slowpoke is a water and psychic type Pokemon. It is currently holding the King's Rock, so it basically... It basically will evolve if you trade it, I believe. Yeah, if you trade it to another version right there. So that's a that's a pretty good one right there. Ability is regenerated, restores a little bit of HP when withdrawn from battle, which is good. And as you can see, pretty good attacks right there. So we're going to be sending this guy straight to the box. We're going to be keeping that. And, well, if we find 20 Diglett, come back to reward you. And, yes, we've already done that. So... He's going to be giving us something else from Alola, and it is an Alolan Vulpix, which is also great. And here we have Alolan Vulpix. We would also like to nickname it, uh, what was it called, Zoro, but you know what? We'll just save that for, for later, a little bit later on. So here you go, Alolan Vulpix. It is an Ice-type Pokemon, and it does have the ability Snow Warning, the battle summons. Hailstorms when it enters a battle and uh, well it has one ice type attack right now but you can evolve this Pokemon through an ice stone whenever you're ready to do so guys. And now let's see. We're going to be sending this guy straight to the box. Let's see how many Pokemon. 30 Pokemon. Okay so we've already done that and here we have another Alolan Pokemon and that is Alolan Sandshrew. This guy is also a nice type Pokemon, and if you guys remember in Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, use this guy quite a bit. Pretty good Pokemon. Very good Pokemon, and I'm not going to nickname him right now. Let's go with the summary, and as you can see, it is both an Ice and Steel type Pokemon. A damn good combination, a very good physical attacker later on in, a, in it. Its ability is Slush Rush. Boosts the Pokemon's p speed in the Hailstorm, which is pretty good right there. And as you can see, pretty regular attacks for an Alolan Slowpoke or uh, Alolan Sandshrew. So let's go right ahead and send that back. And now we have to get 40 Diglets, which we already did. And here comes in another Alolan Pokemon. And we get ourselves an Alolan Raichu. And as many of you guys already know, Alolan Raichu is one of my favorite Pokemon because it is both electric and psychic type. And crap, I should have nicknamed it Puka because <laughs> if you guys haven't seen my Pokemon Moon walkthrough, yeah. 
That's pretty much the route it's going to. So here we have Alolan Raichu, both electric and psychic type. And as you can see, still a speedy Pokemon, but this time around, its special attack is all the way up there. Which, uh, well, it's pretty much been there since, you know, the very beginning. Its ability, as you can see, is Surge Surfer, doubles the Pokemon speed stat on an electric terrain. And, well, look at that. It's Thundershock, basic moves. You can teach it Psychic. You know, that kind of stuff. So, let's go send it to the box right there. And, well, now we have to get 50, which we've already gotten. And this one right here, we will be getting uh, another Alolan Pokemon. And here we have Alolan Marowak. And let's see what we got. Okay, so Alolan Marowak, I believe... Yeah, it is a fire and ghost type Pokemon. So as you can see, this Pokemon sets the bone. It holds on fire and dances through the night as a way to mourn its fallen allies. Huh, pretty cool. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at its summary right here too. Like I said, it is both fire and ghost type. A very damn good combination right there. And, well, it looks like, uh, yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty uh, defensive right here. It's attack, it's physical attack is going to go down because of its nature. As you can see, it has Rock Head, which protects the Pokemon from recoil damage. And it does have a nice plethora of moves like Flame Wheel, Hex, Fling, and Stomping Tantrum, which is pretty nice. And, well, let's see. Let's see. Let's go ahead and send it to the box right there. Let's go ahead and get another Pokemon, which is 75 Pokemon right here. And... Yes, we've gotten 75, and here we go, another Alolan Pokemon, and this is Executor, which many of you guys already know is Alolan Executor. This guy is a tall mother grabber right here. Here is the Pokedex entry. It is a Grass and Psychic, or a Grass and Dragon type Pokemon, 35 feet, 9 inches, 916 uh, pounds of pure coconuts and everything with dragons and everything. Blazing sunlight has brought out the true form and powers of this Pokemon. You don't say. Hmm. So you mean to tell me this is the true form? That's pretty cool. And, well, let's go ahead and not give it a nickname just yet. And let's go straight to the summary. As you can see, you guys, grass and dragon. Pretty good combination. Maybe a... It may be a Pokemon that I may want to get later on in Pokemon Moon. Just for, like, you know, shits and giggles and all that crud. And, well... Look at that. Its special attack's pretty good. Physical attack, also good. It has a, a neutral kind of a neutral kind of base stat right here because, of course, of its nature. And its ability is Harvest may create another berry after another one has been used, which is pretty cool right there. And, you know, I would like to think that this Pokemon is a, is a dual-type Pokemon, but it also has the Psychic capabilities, guys. You can actually go ahead and teach it, you know, the Psychic, Hypnosis, Reflect, Leech Seed, and Absorb. Pretty good Pokemon to actually have on your team. So let's go straight to the Pokemon, uh, the PC. And the next one is 100 of these Diglets, and, well, we've already gotten 100, and this is another Alolan Pokemon, and we get ourselves a Rowlet. Now, the 100 Pokemon mark is based off the starter that you you come out with first in the game as many of you guys already know in this game right here I started out with let's see I think it was a grass type Pokemon yeah Pokemon swords Pokemon sword grass type Pokemon yeah it was a grass type Pokemon so because I got a grass type Pokemon he's gonna be giving me the grass type starter from Alola so let's go ahead and take a look at this Pokemon right here Rowlet the owl Pokemon. Now I'm not gonna give this guy a nickname, and let's go ahead and take this. Take a look at this summary right here. So, Rowlet, the grass and flying type Pokemon. Eventually, it will e it will evolve into a grass and uh, ghost type Pokemon. Look at that. Long reach. The Pokemon uses its moves without making contact with the uh, target, which is pretty cool. And it has pretty basic, you know, basic attack and all that stuff. Now, let's see. I'm just going to send this guy to the box, and let's see what else. Now, if we get 151 Pokemon, we're going to be getting it in. And, well, here it is. We got 151 of those Diglets. Ah, including the one that just came back. The number of Diglett have come back is... What? All 151 Diglett came back? Thank you so much. Thanks to you, all my Diglett have come back. Do you spec? I think this Diglett is saying that you're worthy of its respect because you found them all. Dig it there. What? 
You want to go together with this trainer? Because of you- because you respect him? <laughs> yes, I get respect wherever I go. D. Hmm. I feel a bit sad, but... If that's what it wants, I'll respect this wish. Please take good care of this Diglett. And here we have it, guys, in the Lowland Diglett. Throwing out that peace sign, guys. You guys can't see it, but yes, I threw out that peace sign right there. So here it is. A Lowland Diglett. Not going to give it a nickname. Let's go ahead and take a look at its summary. Now, this Diglett right here is ground and steel type. A very speedy Pokemon. And, uh, well, its ability is Sand Force. Boosts the power of ground, rock, steel type Pokemon in a sandstorm. And it does have nice moves at level 20, which is Astonish, Mud Slap, Bulldoze, and Sucker Punch. Which is pretty good. Pretty awesome. Pretty great. Okay, so let's go ahead and send it to the box right there. And, well, that's all 151 of those Diglets right there. Now, it is finally time for us to actually go into... I guess the Tower of Water or something like that? Yeah, we have to go over there and all that crud. Okay, let's speed it on over since we do have a bike. Now, one thing that you guys should know for either or either tower is that, you know, if you want to have a, a, a if you want to have an easy time to go into the towers and all that stuff, try and have your Pokémon at level 80. You don't necessarily have to have it at level 80. That's just 10 10 levels over over the max and something like that. But it will uh you know, it will be comfortable just battling the, the trainers right there. Now, a few other good moves that you should actually uh, think about before you go into the water tower is that it is the water tower. Basically meaning that they will probably have water type Pokemon. So, if you do have like a Thunder Punch, any kind of electric type move, or ground type move, or no, not ground type move, but grass type move, onto your Pokemon, then that's pretty much the way to go right there. So, let's go right ahead and... Uh, get to this tower right here that's right and it is pouring it's raining the old man is snoring oh my god okay so after thanksgiving we are finally here taking off with the bike and well guys mean mugging me he's waiting for me here it is guys the tower of water and look at that it has its design and everything right there so now First is first, let's go ahead and equip this Pokemon with a little something something because you only have to use, or you can only use this Pokemon and nothing else, you can't have any backups. So let's see, I need to know one thing, that is if I do have any kind of like equipment for this guy. One being, uh, let's see, I believe it's uh, a, sh a, a, a shell shell or something like that, I don't know. Let's see, hold on just a sec, let's see, Carbos, Expert Belt, could give it that but... Kind of need a more of a healing item rather than than anything. Hmm. There's a rocky helmet. You know what? I could use a rocky helmet on this guy. Let's go. Let's go ahead and give that to uh, Kafu right here, just in case. Okay. So that's one thing. The other thing too is that we have to actually bring, make sure to uh, put our Pokemon into the PC. Now, as you can see, I did capture quite a few Pokemon off uh, off screen. One of them, Drudagon, one of my favorite Dragon type Pokemon. And uh, this was just because, you know, I was making my rounds around the island and all that crud. So let's go right ahead and put these guys all to the PC. That way, you know, they say it's a fair fight and all that crud. Let's see. There we go. Kabu, you are ready to go. Now, remember, guys, when I'm playing Pokemon Shield, you guys will be seeing the Tower of Darkness. And, well, let's see. Is everything good to go? Okay, has inner focus, and I did teach this guy Thunder Punch, so we we should be okay with uh, where we're going right here. So, let's go right ahead and talk to this guy. Hello, Draven. Master has already sent word. This is the Tower of Waters. It's training a ground where Kafu will learn true essence of water. If you've raised Kafu to at least level 70, its training will be smooth. Will go smoothly. Once you enter the tower, you won't be able to leave until you're be you best five opponents or are defeated yourself. What's more? What's more? The tower you didn't choose will be close to you forever. Now, do you wish to forsake the path of darkness and follow the water or the path of water? Yes, I do. Remember, there will be no turning back once you have made your choice. Are you sure you want to climb the Tower of Waters? I am sure about this. I can tell your heart is set. The best of luck to you. Okay, so here it is, guys. Should be easy. You know, rolling my arm 
just like Goku and all that cred. Okay, so here we go. We are going to be battling five trainers, guys. Each one of them has a Water-type Pokemon, I believe so. So I think we're well equipped for this whole thing right here. So let's go ahead and talk to the very first trainer. There she is, ready to go. Rain falls to become uh, to be or rain falls to become a river, and the river will eventually flow into the ocean. Such is a great cycle of water. It will swallow you whole. Alrighty, here we go. We're gonna be taking on a master dojo. In, they're, they're all gonna be called student guys. So there it is, coming out with a Psyduck. And here comes Kabu, ready to take some, uh, you know, well, not take a pounding, but kick some mass. So here we go, Thunder Punch for the win. Yes, 15 levels above. There we go. <laughs> okay, I may have over-leveled my Pokemon just a little bit, but I want to get through this whole thing, guys. I really do. Okay, so that's one, and he's like, impressive. You can now proceed to the second floor. Okay, going to the next floor without any damage. Let's go ahead and talk to this guy. And what does homeboy have to say? In a round cup, water becomes round. In a square teapot, it becomes square. Water is adaptable, changing from, uh, form to match the opponent, prepared to drown in its power. Kind of sounds like Bruce Lee. If you put water in a cup, it becomes the cup. You know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> Alright, so here we go, guys. And here we go again with the Krabby, and uh, this should be easy. Again, Thunder Punch, guys. It's a pretty good move to go with. So let's go a Thunder Punch for the win. Yeah, buddy. This Krabby had no chance. None. None whatsoever. And, well, there we go. Going a little bit of levels, and yes, we have defeated another student. I could just speed through this whole thing, Ace. I could. And, well, after defeating him, he's like, impressive. You can now proceed to the third floor. Alrighty. Okay, let's go. Let's get this. Alrighty. What's up? Number three, obviously going to have another Water-type Pokemon. Rain drops may be small and weak on their own, but a torrent of rain can grind rocks into dust. Do you have the willpower to withstand the relentless torrent of my raindrops? Well, maybe the raindrops of your tears, but I don't know about that. So, here we go, going up against another student, and she will be coming out with a Meryl, and, well, obviously we got Kofu here, ready to go. Kicking some ass, taking some names, and, well, let's go ahead and go with another Thunder Punch. And this guy, how dare you break my streak? And obviously Meryl gets hurt because, yeah, good equipment and all that stuff. So there it is, guys, a Thunder Punch for the win. That doesn't feel so good after all. And, well, we have defeated the Master Dojo student. And, yes, the way each one of the, your raindrops hit like a hydro pump. Innuendo. Lots of innuendo right there. Okay. So that's another person out. And now we're going to be going into the fourth floor right here. And, uh, well, let's see what happens when it comes to this right now. Alrighty, homeboy. You don't like me and I don't like you. Water will freeze and harden when the cold or evaporate while in the fly through the sky when hot. Water changes its form even if it, its name on a whim. Can you contain it? Man, so poetic with the whole water in your windows and all that stuff, which is pretty cool. Okay, so here we go, coming out with a poly world. So now they're just stepping it up in the evolutionary form right here. All right, Kung Fu. He's shaking. He's ready to go. Let's go with a thunder punch right here. And bam, thunder punch. Does its trick. Say goodbye to Poliwhirl. Yeah, they, it could could this place be not like any easier? I mean, I'm just saying, guys. Really <laughs> super easy right here. So there we go. We have defeated this guy. Now we can go into the top floor, which will be Well, it's gonna get interesting right here. Trust me. Alrighty guys. So here we are in the top floor, and Master Roshi himself is waiting for us. Okay. Alrighty, I, I love I love it, the sound of his his footsteps. Kind of sounds like Stewie. Look at that. <laughs> okay, enough screwing around, guys. So here we are in front of uh, Master Mustard, and well, he's gonna be congratulating us for just a bit. There you are. I figured you'd choose the Tower of Waters, so I decided to wait for you here. Draven, Kung Fu. 
You've both done well to get this far. Bubby! Your final opponent is little old me. It's been a while since the last time I battled like this, but I think you can handle it. A stream too clear is avoided by a fish Pokemon. We all need some darkness in ourselves. Let me be the one to teach you the final lesson on the essence of water. Oh, damn. Okay, alrighty. So, uh... <laughs> oh, wow, he's... Oh! 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 Okay, alrighty, so... <laughs> Nice man bun, and let's do this. All right, so here we go, taking on Dojo Master Mustard, and he is coming out with his very own Kabu. This is looking interesting right here, and look at that. I'll need to get serious if I want to take you on. Hone your senses now, and let us this battle sharpen you. Show me what you, uh, how you can grow, or whatever. <laughs> can't even read right, guys. Still can't read right. And here we go, Aerial Ace. And uh, that right there is a pretty effective one. He's like, watch closely, Draven. This is what Kavu's fists are truly capable of. Oh, wow. Okay. What is it? Aerial Ace 2? And, well, even though you hit me, you get hit yourself. Look at that. <laughs> Rocky Helmet for the win. Let's go with another Aerial Ace. For the win. Eat it. Kavu defeated. All right. Okay. Not bad. Look at that, and we grow to level 81, which is great. And we have defeated the cut or the master right here in his man bun. Why, 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 why are you laughing? You young folk grow so fast; it never ceases to amaze me. And yes, we earned a boatload of money, lots of money. Mooncho dinero. Okay, so what a team! Impressive, most impressive. That's right, man. Fist bump me. Yeah, look at that. The stars glow, and Kafu is super happy. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Holy crap, look at the moves on. Wow, okay. I like this guy. Look at that. He's turned out to be my favorite Pokemon. Look at this guy. Okay, so what do you? What, what, what is it? <laughs> I knew you were worthy of my trust, Draven. You have done well, very well indeed, in raising Kung Fu to this level of strength. Leon was once my uh, best uh, my best student a long uh, time ago. He too attempted this trial, but he never made it through either tower. He got he got lost along the way. Huh. <laughs> now it's finally time for Kung Fu to evolve. Go and show Kung Fu the scrolls of water, and Kung Fu is ready now. Okay. Alrighty, so this is uh this is it guys. So after defeating Master Roshi himself, we can actually go right here and actually look at the uh, at the scrolls and look at that, it's a big old tidal wave. Do you want to do you want to show Kafu the scroll of the water and have it evolve? Yes I do. Kafu is looking and uh broom Bear uh, 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 uh. And just like that, something is triggered. Boo bear! Oh damn, okay. So here it is, guys. We are getting an evolution. A few months in the making, trust me. Long time in the making. And bam. So here we have Urshifu, water type form, I think. I don't know. Let's go ahead and read the, 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 the Pokedex entry right here. So here it is, guys, the Rapid Strike style of the Wushu Pokemon Urshifu. Now, it is both fighting and water-type Pokemon. 6'3", 231 pounds of pure. I will whoop that ass. It's believed that this Pokemon model its fighting style on the flow of the water. Sometimes rapid, sometimes calm. Hmm, it's pretty cool. So after... After it evolves, it will start learning Surging Strikes, its signature move. So let's go ahead and take a look at what move we can actually take out. And it doesn't really look like... Well, as you can see, the move... Okay, the, the user having mastered the water style strikes the, wa the target with flowing motion three times in a row. This attack always results in a critical hit, which is... It, it looks weak at one point, but it gets stronger along the way. So what's going to happen is I'm going to take away Thunder Punch for the time being. Luckily, in this game, yeah, TMs are unlimited. And, well, look at that. Thunder Punch has been taken. Surging Strikes is right there. Holy crud. 
Behold, before you stands Urshifu! Sure to be unyielding armor that will shatter any blade turned against it. And it's mastered the style of water. The Qua. Look at this Pokemon right here. Holy crud. <laughs> You've certainly grown, haven't you? And to think not too long ago you uh, you would have ran and hid behind uh, me the moment you got scared. Indeed, no matter how old I get, witnessing someone grow always brings joy to my heart. Draven, Urshifu, thank you both from the bottom of my heart. Oh, I almost forgot. I give this to anyone who faced me when I was taking uh, the battle seriously. And yes, we get ourselves a Muster Lee card. It's pretty cool right there. Now then, let's head back to the dojo. Alrighty, okay, look at that. Look at Urshifu walking like a champ right there. Such talent and strength. Perhaps the time has come. Wait, what? The, the time? The hell? Okay, I, I just don't like... Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like how he said that. Okay, so... That is uh, pretty much it right there for this episode, guys. Yes, I know, there's something else going on later on. But I kind of want to separate it and uh, just complete it right there. But it has been fun right here. In the next episode, guys, we will be completing the Isle of Armor. So you do not want to miss this one. Thank you guys again for having all the patience in the world for this part. I, I believe we're coming down on a year of, since we started this walkthrough. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know much uh, what I'm going to say right there. But yes, uh, in the next episode, you do not want to miss it. So thank you guys again for watching. I'll see you guys next time.